Welcome to this introduction to Stata. In this video, I'll share Tabstat, a useful command for showing you more specific statistics. I pulled up the syntax. Notice what is in the brackets in the syntax and what isn't. I've also put the main options here because Tabstat as a standalone command with variables isn't very powerful. For Tabstat, using the options is extremely helpful. The by option here allows you to group statistics by variables. Well, the statistics options below that, which has an underlined S for shorthand, is where you tell Stata to give you specific statistics of interest. Let's see what Tabstat does by itself without options. So we type Tabstat and choose any list of variables, age and maybe age at first sexual intercourse. Not very impressive, right? Because it only shows you the mean of the variables you list. Now, the mean is useful only for variables representing real numbers, called numeric variables. Now, let's try tabstat with the by option. Let's try tabstat age by sex. Now, see how I picked a numeric variable for my tabstat main function, but separated it with a categorical variable of sex. Now, let's get fancier and use the statistics option, the S option. First, we'd like to see what statistical options we have. So we type help tabstat, which for shorthand can just be H, and tabstat. Now, from here, we look at the options, and we see the S shorthand and click on stat name. Over here, we have a whole list of all the possible options you can get Stata to report to you. We can look at the mean, the count, the n, the variance, standard error of the mean, the first percentile, the median, all of these, the interquartile range, etc. So let's choose as many as we want to put into our command. So I can click back on the review window and click on the command, and I can just change it from here. So I can put S afterward. Now, in Stata, the options, such as by and statistics, or row for the tab command, these can be in any order after the comma. By can come second, statistics can come first. But let's just choose some statistics to report. We'd say N, median, IQR for interquartile range. We can even pick the 99th percentile. And here you go. We see that the age has been grouped into females and males. And we see the total number of each here. And we see that at the 50th, at the median, 30 is the median for both male and female. The interquartile range is a little bit higher for male, and the 99th percentile shows that the female age is, is higher than the male age at the 99th percentile. This concludes the Stata introductory tutorial. 